he's destroying his own reputation in the new mockumentary series, Jury Duty, where James plays a ramped up, ego driven version of himself. I feel marginalized being, a, being an alternate. I don't um, I mean, as a celebrity, this is the first time I've ever felt like I've been treated differently in a negative way. Alongside James, the jury is made up of a stack of actors and one unsuspecting real person, Ronald. And Ronald has no idea he's on a TV show. James, welcome. I am thoroughly enjoying this series. Were you surprised, pleased, insulted that the makers of this show came to you and thought, we need a Hollywood ego, that James Marsden, he could really nail this. I mean, I was excited and intimidated. I was excited because I had read the scripts and um, I also got very, very excited about just satirizing the cliche Hollywood entitled brat, um, which is kind of a uh, scary how fun it was to play that. I had a great time with that, but yes, it was intimidating. I was nervous about the whole process. I couldn't think of any other project that this was like. So I think we were all kind of like, out in uncharted territory, but believed in the scripts and believed in not doing a prank show. We believed in creating a hero's journey for somebody and we found him. I'm so happy to be here. I'm gonna be upset if I don't get on the jury for sure. <laughs> Were you God. basing your character off any particular Hollywood ego, any that you may have encountered? Not really. I mean, maybe it's a sort of uh, compilation of moments that I've experienced with other actors over the years. Um, <laughs> my eyes roll when I hear an actor talk about how difficult it is being an actor. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that, right? No one wants to hear how difficult your life is as a Hollywood celebrity. <laughs> I treat my job very seriously. I come prepared. I, I want to be great. But it's also, I know that I'm not saving a life with this, right? It's not like I'm curing cancer. And going to jury duty in the States or standing in line at the DMV to get your driver's license, those are the great equalizers of, of our world. It doesn't matter who the f you are, <laughs> you're standing in that line, you're serving on that jury, and it doesn't matter if you're a plumber or a you know mega Hollywood star or a bus driver or a school teacher or whatever, like you're all the same. And so I like that that was a a force that got to take Marsden down a few pegs. <laughs> These paparazzi, are they here for you? I believe so. This is my lot in life, sir. They follow me, they, they you, you can't control them, they show up and I've gotten used to it, to be honest. Well, Jury Judy, it seems to be a multi-genre show, which really does fit in quite nicely with your own film career, right? Because there's not really one you haven't done. You've done the superhero, you've done the romantic comedy, you've done the Western, you've done the musical. What is left for you? You know, I'm going to be very actorly and answer this in a very <laughs> actorly way. I haven't met that character yet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, it's... I wish I had an idea of... I, I'd love to do a biopic about, like, Sinatra or something, a singer. I've not done that. Play like a real-life human being who... Uh, and be able to use my voice. So like, I, I love singing and music, and I'd love to get into that a bit more. Does it annoy you then that that's how you present, the good-looking Hollywood leading man? I wasn't trying to, I wasn't <laughs> trying to say that that way, but I guess it was from, a, from an early age, that's what Hollywood... Well, that's the, those are the roles that kind of came my way, which is ironic because I wasn't that guy in high school. I was the, like a theater nerd, but I also didn't relate to that. I, I wasn't that guy. I mean, the story, I, I was on the third X-Men movie and I was riding this Harley Davidson and I was playing Cyclops and I get off the Harley and I walk down this hill to this bank where I see Jean Grey. And as I walk down the hill, Brett Ratner goes, cut, let's do that again. He goes, walk, walk with a little more swagger this time. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> thinking like, oh boy, I'm getting in my head. Do it again, walk down. I think I'm walking like Don Knotts, like, you know. <laughs> he goes, cut, and he goes, walk like you just got off a of Harley. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess I can't walk cool. I don't know, man. Well, you have been acting for decades. Your career has gone so long. Lots of people know you from The Notebook, X-Men. A particular role of yours... The Nanny, Eddie in The Nanny, for me, strikes me as one of the first times that I saw you. Hello, Ed. Hi. <laughs> I brought you some spare ribs. Oh, you are some little operator, aren't you? Could that kid have ever imagined what was to come for him? It's nuts. It's really nuts. I feel really lucky. I don't know why people keep hiring me, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I love doing what I do. I love being on set. I love working with people. Um, I've realised that having a good reputation in Hollywood is someone that's easy to work with and kind and 
shows up on time and knows his lines. I assume that everybody does that. Like that's a given, but not everybody does that. And now <laughs> I'm realizing, oh, they could cast 20 different guys and that would be just as good as you, but they're going to actually cast the person with a good reputation that, that enjoys what they're doing and, you know, is professional and treats people with kindness. I don't know. And, and I look back on the roles that really worked for me. I was having a blast. Well, it was a blast watching this series where you're playing you, but not you, but you. It was fun uh, and liberating to play the jackass, a dipshit version of James Marsden <laughs> and, uh, and watch him kind of stumble and fall on his face. James Marsden, thank you. You're welcome. Nice chatting <laughs> with you. This is where I announce my retirement. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> That's it. That's peak. Can't top this. <laughs> Ah, the delightful dipshit. We love him. What a great man. <laughs> Jury Judy is available to watch now on Prime Video.